Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So before we begin, I just want to let people know if you're looking for data, this video is not going to have any data at all. It's just going to be my experience because I just bought a ton of these and um, yeah, something just happened. So I'm going to go through that and then for the data, I will be having a battery test setup environment for uh, to actually get data on these two and figure out which one's better and which one's not. However, durability and longevity is done through experience and long use and this is that part of the video really so that's going to come before the data um so uh, for anyone who just wanted the data it's not going to be here so yeah you can just stop watching here and um it won't i don't waste your time all right so now let's just begin um infinities i've been using them for eight months nine months and i still have a bunch of packs from eight months ago that are still working they do puff on high load i don't care but they're still working perfect uh, not perfect but like they would last me two minutes or i could tune my quad double check a quad so i don't waste a full nice brand new battery and as you can see it's beat up to it's beat up to crap and it's this is still working so this is very good now you know um, I know they have two newer versions. I do have those. Um, I've been using them. They're pretty powerful, but I'm not making a video there, there about them just yet because I don't have a long-term use on them just yet to come back and tell you. Um, neither do I have an Eternity Graphenes, but something happened with the Graphenes, the Turnergies, which is why I'm making this video and which is why I'm pretty actually frustrated. Now, I do have maybe from three batches possibly from the Infinity Graphenes. Never had a cell die out on me always worked um they could take high load after a while they start puffing but that's absolutely normal for any battery and you could totally enjoy it and they're hella strong now of course they're stronger and there's better but i'm just talking about this price point and i'm just talking about my experience here so this one is very good let's put this to the side now Turnergy graphenes i bought a ton of them um, not so long ago, maybe about a month or two months ago. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you'll, you'll know when I got them. Um, so right now, maybe I'm on the fourth cycle, I think, on these. Um, and I have a couple of them that are, the cells are dead. So this one, for example, has a dead cell. Another one has a dead cell. An 1800 milliamp has a dead cell. Three have a dead cell on the fourth cycle. However, something else very important to take note of, I take super care of these and i don't push them super hard which is what really pisses me off these i have abused the living shit out of and they're still working these even when i first got them they felt lacking but i said oh no no maybe it's just me or maybe it's the quad uh, but no they, they they are lacking compared to a brand new infinity um it feels lacking and uh, it really does feel lacking. And I know there's other ones, but I'm just talking about these, the cheaper ones. Uh, this is the graphene version. So, you know, to have three batteries just die out on the fourth cycle, so probably even the third cycle, I don't remember, but I'm giving it an extra cycle here. To do that, that that's just very bad. That's terrible. Uh, maybe I have a bad batch. Maybe my luck is bad. But, you know, if one died, I would have just been, okay, maybe it's okay, a bad batch. Uh, three at the same time to die when I'm taking super care of them and I'm not really going full-blown crazy with them is just um it's terrible it's it's crap i'm never buying these again and i should not have bought so many and i should have just bought a couple tested them out see what happens and then slowly got more so this is my take on these maybe some of you had better luck with yours but you know to, for me to have three of them to go out like that that's just terrible um i mean imagine if you didn't have much cash and you bought three and those were your only three and you come next day you know the fourth day you're gonna go fly you go to charge them and then it's just telling you, you know, the, the voltage is too low or something. And then you check the cells and you find you have a dead cell. You would be hella frustrated. And I'm hella frustrated myself right now. I don't know when the other ones are going to last till. So I don't know if any of them even died right now. I haven't really checked them. I've just been so pissed off every time I see one of these. So uh, for me, my experience, I'm never going to buy Trinity Graphene's ever again as long as I live. Um, that's for sure. And I'm going to be just sticking to the old 70C, not even the 90 or the 100C. I'm going to stick to this guy because this guy has lasted and is still lasting and is still working and is still performing. And I abuse the living shit out of. So this is the winner for me. And he does everything you want and more. So uh, for your everyday flyer, if you were to ask me what do you recommend, I'll tell you to get this one. Hands down. Uh, this, this you, you know, it's, you're getting everything you're paying for plus, you know. Eight months, the last eight months, and still work and get you like a good two minute of flight time or a tuning time. Um, it's it's beautiful, it's perfect, um, and I and I and I love it. And 
I'm never going to make this mistake again. So, you know, if you ever use batteries and you're very happy with them, they've lasted you a long time, don't try changing new. Or you can, but just buy one or two pieces. Don't buy so many. Um, I'm just going to stick to the Infinities. Um, these ones, even the 70C, not the other ones. I do have the other ones. I'm still doing the testing on them. But um, I don't have much cycles through them to really say anything just yet about them. Um, but these I have plenty of experience. Eight to nine months now, basically. Eight and a half, something like that. Um, and they're just functioning beautiful and um, I can't complain there's nothing to complain about these they're light they're good they're cheap they work so you will there is something to complain they take forever to come in the shipping that they send them in but if you can find a local dealer um, jump on them don't even think twice I mean my luck was absolutely beautiful and I have a trillion of them and they're just still working and these I have a trillion in them and they're just starting to die for no reason so it's terrible this is absolutely terrible and I'm very, very pissed off. And plus they feel lacking in power. I just said, oh no, maybe it's a because it's a 1300 milliamp. And then when I put the 1500 milliamp, no, no. So, 65C it says. This one's saying 70C. Um, I don't know if it's correct. We'll, we'll know that once we do the data testing. But um, overall, this feels better. Uh, this lasts longer and this is cheaper. But it takes forever to get to you. But it's totally worth the wait in my opinion. And this is my take on these. This is my experience on these two. I've used other batteries. But um, I currently just want to make a video about these two here. And uh, tell you what I'm going to be getting from now on. Because I think this is the best solution. For me at least. And um, I would really love to hear your guys' experience on these two as well. And um, I'm sure others are, others will be also. So if you can do that, that would be super awesome down in the comment section. And that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.